please. So tomorrow we're having a party, Christmas party, with our friends. So I'm going to be preparing some lovely little canapes. These are, I don't know, uh, grain free, obviously, for me. They're sugar free because why would you have sugar in canapes? Healthy food. That is what I do. Accidentally healthy food. I'd eat a burger if I could. I really want some chips. Maybe actually I'd like a mince pie. Moving on. Here are some super healthy canapes. Now I actually love canapes because they're tiny and small and I love anything that's tiny and intricate. I really like origami as well and doing like little miniature portraits. So I'm going to do three canapes today. Uh, one of them is super traditional. It's just what we've always done at home. What we've always had for every party. Uh, and that is a deviled egg. Uh, most important thing with a deviled egg is always put baking powder in the water whilst boiling because that ensures that the shell will come off. And our next one, it's a kind of aubergine roll. Aubergines are just my most favourite thing in the world. So you slice them up and you grill them and then you wrap delicious fillings inside, which is really nice. And then the third one is the inner one is a bit more complex. Uh, it's a smoked salmon bellini type thing, but obviously you can't have bellinis or even gluten-free bellinis, although people are very sweet and do offer me those all the time. Gluten-free bellinis made with, today, this sucrine sesame flour. Probably be using coconut flour, but I've run out. Courgette or zucchini, if you're American. And you mix that together with some eggs and then put it in a pan, boom, boom, boom. And then you put some cream cheese and some smoked salmon on top. Delicious, so good. So good. And today I have three beautiful little serving platters. Now this one is very special because my wife made it. This originally belonged to my mother-in-law. It's a special Chinese plate. I'm gonna say special. Oh, no, there's an actual term for this. Basically it has tiny little dots on where you put rice into the actual clay and then while it's firing, the rice I'm gonna say explodes. Now this belonged to Nana Reynolds, who was my great grandmother. And then when she died, it was inherited by my grandmother, who was living in England by that time. And then it was given to my mother, and now it is mine. Let's break some eggs. I have peeled my eggs, yes. Chop in half, oh. and pop the egg in the bowl. Now, making, uh, making these a day ahead is quite a good idea because they do last, they're fine. Just pop in some cling film, put them in the fridge. And it just saves you so much time and hassle and day, doesn't it? Okay, we've got our egg whites ready. Don't use your thumb to uh, cut things against the knife, that's a bad idea. Look, also I cut my thumb. I cut my thumb on an eggshell. I've got here some chives whoop, and some spring onions. So just the green parts of the spring onion. Get the mayo. Ooh. Throw some yogurt in there as well, just so it's not too uh, stiff. A little bit of cayenne pepper. All right. Get my little teaspoon. Voila. Then you have to serve it on top. Um, chives, always a good option. Little quarter slices of cucumber, looks really good. Back home, the preferred option was always just put caviar on top, which is my favorite. Love caviar, Roddy love it. What could be better than an egg with caviar on top? I don't know. It's a really simple thing, but it looks really good. My next lovely, lovely recipe. Um, it's quite Mediterranean does involve dairy, because it's got ricotta in, but I think ricotta, strangely, is like an exception. All right, so what you need to do is to chop up your aubergine uh, into lovely lengthways strips, then you're gonna grill it, just like I did earlier. Bye. So it would probably be a good idea for you to also get 
some little cocktail sticks. Because you can wrap them up into a roll, put a cocktail stick through it. However, we did have a lot of cocktail sticks, and then I dropped them on the floor five times in a row. And I got really angry, so I threw them all in the bin. So now we have no cocktail sticks. But we do have skewers. So what I'm going to do is make them and then skewer them. So you're gonna mix up some ricotta. Mm, 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 mm. A little bit of pepper. Then we're gonna put in some oregano, or as Americans say, oregano. Why? Someone explained that to me in the comments. One thing I love about my wife is that she's never met a gadget that she didn't desperately need. See, my mother does most of the cooking, um, but my father actually is the one who really kind of loves the gadgetry. But my father likes kind of recipes that have got 50 different ingredients. When we were children, we'd always be like, no, mummy, please. If you're going away for the evening, can't you just cook dinner beforehand? If daddy cooks it, it will take five hours. It does, genuinely. Everything he makes is delicious, but it takes five hours and 50 ingredients. You know it's true, Daddy. You know it's true. Okay, skewers at the ready. We used to have to do this in the Arga. It took forever. You can't see because I have uh, angled back quite badly. Smoothing it along. Yes. And stick a skewer through it. Very nice. So, here we have it. Our aubergine rolls. Okay, next up, we're going to make some little smoked salmon bellinis. To start with, begin by taking two courgettes and grating them. Not gonna lie, peripheral neuropathy does mean that I can't actually fill my fingers, so sometimes I genuinely do grate them. I burn a snack into my palm by holding an ice cream, one of those mini ice creams from the theatre, for too long in one, posi one position. Oh, and I was on this semi-date as well. I also can't feel the left side of my face. Um, and I, I managed to burn the back of my ear. So the back of my left ear is quite scarred because I was using heated hair tongs. My mother walked in the room. Mmm, smells like pork in here. All right, eggs and sesame flour. Mm -hmm. One serving spoon of sesame flour per egg. Can you tell I'm making this up as I go along? So three eggs per one courgette. Excellent! Now, I'm gonna pop this in a frying pan, make little bellinis. Beautiful. We have our batter that we made earlier. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. Add some oil. This is from our wedding. Don't know if you can see this, but it says olive oil on it. And it has this tiny little image of us that I made for our wedding. Right. Now these shouldn't be too big, so dollop on kind of one tablespoon's worth. You see my pan? There you go. There you go, lots of amazing, delicious canapes for you to try. I hope you love them as much as I do. And if you do, I have some really exciting news for you. Because after Vlogmas is over, I'm gonna be taking a week off, a week and a half off, um, because in January, in the new year, I'm going to be starting my very own blog. Yeah. So I'm going to be building my website and it's gonna have all sorts of things on from recipes, clothes, just life stuff, and all of the recipes that I have in Vlogmas this year are going to be on there in full, so you will know exactly what it is that you need to do to make such delicious treats as this one. To enter yourself into my Vlogmas subscriber giveaway, click the link in the description to head to my Instagram. I'll announce the winner on Instagram on Boxing Day. Good luck! Come back tomorrow for another Christmassy video.